Hello everyone, we're back to another episode of Yakuza 5. Um, kind of just been pushing through a bunch of stuff on uh, the baseball portion of it. And uh, I think we're just going to continue to do that for now. For a little bit. Trump card. All right, that's the kid. Uh, sure. God damn it, kid. This must mean... Gotcha times three. No, it was you. All right, Kenta, what'd you swipe this time? No, couldn't be. It's gone. My massage parlor coupon. How am I supposed to get my ham handled for half off? Huh? I don't know what that is, but it sounds important. It's a ticket to the land of dreams for any man. But you're too young. Give it back. You want this back? Do you really need me to explain the rest? No, I guess not. You want to challenge me to another one of your miracle pitches, right? <sighs> Got it. Okay, then. To the batting cage. You won't be hitting my miracle pitch today. Wait a second. Are you still throwing those crazy breaking balls? Didn't I tell you, kid, like you shouldn't be throwing those? Wait, Tell, wait till you finish growing. You really could wreck yourself. Oh. Yeah, yeah, fine. Besides, I said miracle pitch. I didn't say anything about a breaking ball. Is that so? Yep. Today I'll be throwing a fastball. Since you're such a party pooper, I'll even throw it like a kid. Can you handle that, mister? Sure you can. Okay, okay. But we're talking about a, a little kid's fastball. Where's the miracle in that? Oh. But wait until you see me throw, because this is my trump card. Rules are the same as before. Hit three hit, or get three hits out of ten pitches, you win. It's actually going to be very difficult, I bet. Like weirdly difficult because it's not going to be like a super fastball. I'm betting it's probably going to be more of an arc. Even my disappearing... Even my disappearing panty flash mark 12 got whacked into oblivion. It's true. The ball did seem to flicker out of view. This kid is a freak. I didn't even... I wasn't paying attention to the ball at all. I was paying specifically attention to the little icon in the center. I can't do this. I can't think of any more miracle pitches that would get you. Say, Kenta? You mentioned you weren't with a team. Why is that? Because even if I join a team, there won't be anyone who can hit my stuff. It'll be boring. Sure about that? But you actually wish you had other kids to play with. That's what made you cry before, right? What am I supposed to do? Keep moving around and I'm always at some new school. Can never make friends. That's why it's easier to be by myself. Even if I join a team, it's not going to work out. I know it. I was that way too, you know. I didn't have many friends either. It was sure scary joining a team for the first time. <laughs> Really? Even for a big guy like you? Yeah. To be honest, I had uh, plenty of trouble after joining the team, too. Getting along with people is always going to be tricky. Get into any fights? All the time. And lots of bad experiences, too. But you know what? Chasing after a ball with all your teammates is more fun than you think. It is? You bet. Uh, that's the best part of baseball. That team aspect. At least I think so. Come on. Try joining a team, alright? But... Do you think I can really make it? Sure you can. In a team, the people who put in an honest effort earn the greatest respect. Besides, you throw some ridiculous pitches, and I mean that in a good way. Be confident, okay? Alright, yeah, I'll do it. But remember, go easy on the breaking balls. Those, uh, those will only rip your joints straight out of their sockets. 
I'll take you at your word for it. And thanks for everything. Here, you can have this. Stamina Royale. Bye-bye. See you. Oh, wait a second. Listen, where's the coupon you took? Oh, that paper thingy? I think I lost it somewhere. Oh, come on. Some way to repay a favor. What'd you do with my dream ticket? Oh, look what I got here myself here. Didn't expect to find one of these babies at a batting center. What? Hey, that's mine. Half off. What a bargain. No time to waste. To the red lights. Uh, to the red lights of Kinecho I go. Don't just leave me hanging. My ticket. To the land where dreams come true. I don't know what that was, but cheer up, big guy. When I become a pro, I'll get you those coupons by the stack. Just wait. Alright, fair enough. That's something else to dream about. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um... A lot of batting stuff. That's kind of like what I've been doing is like a bunch of these batting missions. You also missed uh, a break, so there's that. Oh my god, do I have to like try and foul? This sucks. Why would anyone have to train for this? Uh, oh, he must be in high school. Maybe he's got some batting trouble? Hey there, why the long face? Huh? Who are you? Oh, nobody special. Just your average, uh, men's health journalist. I mean, that's a way to put it. Who happened to be in the area? Oh, snap. I know what that is. So do you, like, get to go to massage parlors all the time? Sounds like the best job in the world. It's honestly not that great. I mean, I do get my muscle tussled quite often, but... And it's not what I'm, why I'm here to talk about, or what I'm here to talk about. Look, I noticed you were talking to yourself about training. I used to be quite the slugger myself back in the day. If you'd like, I'd be happy to give you some pointers. Well, I'm just conflicted. See, my coach told me to learn how to foul pitches off. Oh yeah? He wants you to learn how to cut away pitches uh, you don't like and run up the pitch count? Yeah, well, I'm, a, I'm our team's cleanup hitter, but my stats after two strikes are terrible. I get psyched up by the pitcher, I swing at bad throws, and I have a pile of strikeouts to show for it. Coach has had enough. He's talking about dropping me from the starting lineup unless I get it together. That's why he wants you to learn how to hit fouls. It's not wrong, you know? When a batter gets behind on the count, his ability to foul off pitches really makes a difference. For instance, if you have two strikes against, being able to foul off the pitcher's best throws will annoy him while you wait for a chance. I don't understand that, but it seems so cheesy. It's tough to get into that mindset. Stuff about it. Cutting fouls takes a lot of technique. You have to be an expert at controlling your swing. Think about batting uh, like a chess match between you and the pitcher. Your cutting technique is just another tool in your arsenal. By falling off pitches, you can negate the pitcher's best stuff and narrow down his pitching choices, uh, which puts pressure on the guy. You could say that having the ability to make cuts as a, better, or as a batter all the more dangerous. I get it now. That's why. But how am I supposed to learn how to cut? Might be an oversimplification, but... Uh, I try to draw a bead on the ball and uh, swing a split second early. It's like jumping the gun. Can I maybe get you, or get you to give me a demonstration? I suppose I could do... Or I could do that. Just watch. I'll hit three fouls out of ten. That'd be great. Thank you. That was fouled. This is... Obviously now I'm going to be able to hit every single one of them. Because you have to unlearn everything that you just did.
I actually thought I had that one early. Do it. Okay, last one. We're good. It's hard to be like that's a narrow spot. You have like swing early, which is basically from the pitch leaving the pitcher's hand to like the point of a foul, like the swing of the, I guess the extent of the bat. You have a narrow window of being able to hit a foul. And you have a narrow window to actually hit, and you have another narrow window window to actually hit a foul. Because if you hit late, or you swing late, obviously instead of pulling it left, or if you're hitting like him, pulling it left, uh, if you're late, you pull it right, or push it right. It was an eye opener. Ah, oh, so I think I can do this now. Thank you. Please take this. Stamina spark. That's right. I'm going to do it. That brings back memories. Hope I wasn't too pe or preachy. Diligent kid. Swinging pretty good, too. Uh, do you want something? No, you just look like you're training hard. What team are you on? I'm a freshman at Kine High. I always wanted to practice against a pitching machine, but I can't afford it. As much as I'd like to treat you to a round, I don't have spare cash either. Bitch, I have like 100,000 yen. Then allow me to do the honors. Oh, hey. Guy with the blog. Oh, what's up, Ko uh, Kotetsu? You know each other? Actually, a Kine High grad. I was on their baseball team, too. Kid's uh, Mikasa-kun. He's a freshman, uh, but with big hopes on him. He's already batting leadoff. How do you, or how'd you like to square off against him? Just how do you suggest they go about doing that? Based it on batting average, you both go up against the same pitching machine for 10 throws each. Whoever gets the most hits wins. From what I hear, Mikasa-kun has an on-base percentage that's out of this world. I think he, it could be a good match. I'll see you can blog about it. Well, I see no harm in that. Paying for both of you, but my offer is null and void if you don't play, though. Could I ask you to play, too? Going against the machine would sure be a lot nicer than swinging around my bat all day. And I just realized, you're the awesome batter Kotetsu-san writes about on his blog. I'd love to watch and learn from seeing how you bat. Man, that's pretty flattering to hear in this day and age. How can I say no? Good, so it's on. Let's have Mikasa-kun go first. Set the set the bar. Ten pitches then. By the way, Mikasa-kun, what's your usual batting average? A little over 500. But against the pitching machine, I should do even better. You know how his pride is on the line. Don't you go losing now. So he's probably gonna get like seven or eight. I bet. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. Seven hits. Thought I could do better. Do I gotta hit at least eight to win? Yep, if it's a draw, Mikasa gets the win. Is that okay with you? Sure, whatever. I mean, what's in it for me yeah. if I win? Nothing. Of course, if you were to lose, that's news. Oh, that news will be broadcast all over the world from my blog. I get it, so I better not screw up. All right, like actual hits this time.
right back at the pitcher. Dude, like, how big is this, like, where I can swing? Basically, I'm gonna be able to hit just about anywhere. And it'll have a hit. One more. And that was seven of eight, seven of eight, seven of those hits were home runs. They're done. Wow, that was something else. You really are an amazing batter. Yep, got an eye for these things after all. So you're so full of it. Full of win, I think you mean. Anyway, I have to write this up. So got a jet. Really is obsessed with that blog of his, isn't he? And because he found a really awesome batter? After seeing you uh, put in the work out there, I know I need to train a lot harder. Gee, you're dedicated. Wait a second, didn't Kine High do pretty good against or at the Fall Regionals a little while ago? Yeah, we had a pretty good shot at making it to uh, Koshin for the Spring Nationals. So I've been going at it so hard. Oh yeah, Spring Nationals. Guess uh, it would be around the end of next month when the team selections are announced. Yep, our teachers are saying we should have a good team going in. As long as there's no hiccups, we're basically, we basically have it in the bag. Oh, sorry, it's my phone. Hello, it's Mikasa. Oh, Koichi. Yeah, uh-huh. What? Why the heck? Are you serious? Sounds like trouble. Okay, I got it. The parking lot on uh, Goshiki Street. I'm on my way. What's up? Anything the matter? No. Nothing, I'm sorry. I have to go. Sure didn't seem like nothing. It's the parking lot on Goshiki Street, right? Better see what's going on. What are we going to do, dude? If we don't do something, our guys are going to get it for sure. If they get into this mess in the first place? He just went out with some girls. But it turns out one of them was the girlfriend of a gang leader. And he found out. What are you thinking at a time like this? Damn, he's pulling out a bat. Crap. You little shit. You banged Mika or Misato, didn't you? Be honest now. Yeah. It didn't. Honestly, nothing like that ever happened. You lying fuck! Misato told me the whole story. Don't try to weasel your way out of this. Look, I didn't know she had a boyfriend. I'm sorry, really. You're the baseball team's ace, aren't you? Busted your hand for what you did. Bet that felt good squeezing Misato's titties. Titties. No, please. Not that. Anything but that. Uh, well, we have to stop them. Can't take them any on. Besides, we're screwed either way. If they find out we're fighting, we'll be banned from uh, Koshien. And we don't fight, but we have to save our guys. Stop, please. No more. Don't do this to them. Mikasa. Who the fuck are you? Please, just let our teammates go. They said they're sorry. A little late for sorry, asshole. Should have minded your own damn business. Did he catch the... Did he catch the bat? Nope. My arm. Dude, are you alright? And all about you schoolboys. Get involved in any violence and you can kiss your Koshian dreams goodbye. So you can't take a swing at us. And you can't even call the cops because you don't want the attention. Okay. Meaning we can do whatever we want. And you bitches have to suck it up and take it. Hey. Guess I need to stop now. 
It's you. How's that arm, Miss uh, Mikasa Kun? I don't know. Get lost, geezer. Feel like getting your ass kicked too? Not in particular, but I don't like what I'm seeing here. Used to play high school ball myself. Then fuck you too. These assholes, or it's these assholes' fault for messing with my girl. And that gives you the right to beat on them? I don't think so. That's it. I gave you a chance to walk away. Now you're gonna get the shit kicked with the rest of them. See? Here's the thing. That's a good way to dislocate a shoulder. I really wish this did more damage. See, like, I'm just gonna put that right back down. Why am I missing him? Suplex. Oh, you know what? There we go. Drag your face on the ground. Okay, we got it. We don't mess with Kine High's team again. Let us go. Oh man, you really saved our highs just now. Kasakun, you need to see a doctor now. If there's any bone damage, you might not heal up in time for Koshien. Okay, I will. So it turns out my arm will be just fine. Doctor said there wasn't any bone damage. I'll have to do his rest up for a while. I can go back to playing. Great to hear. You're be pretty worried. If you hadn't come by, I don't want to know what they would have done, or how it would have ended. Oh, uh, we seriously can't thank you enough. Well, when you get healthy enough to hold a bat again, you should come back. You need to train for those nationals, right? Will you let me challenge you again? Sure. Whenever you like. Oh, by the way, my teammates gave me something for you. Thought you should have this. Damn, and a spark. I would hope so. So they'll concentrate on training like never before. Ugh. How about that? Maybe all this worked out for the best. I'll expect big things from you in the spring. I'll be sure to not let you down. Thank you again. He's a revelation. Oh, it's Pedro. 
No. Baring Kotsu. Bow your men. In the affair. Yo. That's impressive. And definitely not how it's done. Oh, right in the throat. Even so, tips on batting, but I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw this happen. If you can hit a home run like this, maybe you can go pro. Complete all the revelations. Fuck yeah. Good achievement. Maybe you can. Uh, oh, but I guess curveballs are going to be a problem. Yeah, probably. Hey, do you know anything about this batting center challenger? Well, you didn't hear? It's basically the batting center equivalent of a dojo breaker. One of those martial arts experts who go around challenging dojo masters? How the heck does that work? From what I gather, he goes around to batting centers and challenges their best batters to a five-pitch duel. If a batter loses or refuses the challenge, the guy takes the batting center's sign as his trophy. Wow, sounds nuts. Hereby challenge this batting center. Whoa, speak of the devil. Could it be? Indeed it is, for I am none other than the batting center challenger feared throughout Kinecho. Uh, the most supreme slugger of this here baseball whacking establishment should announce himself now. Well, no one, yellow bellied cowards. Uh, I shall take this batting center sign as my own. Hey, over here. This guy's the best slugger you'll ever see. Hey, don't just volunteer me. It'll be fine. Plus, the whole world wants to see this showdown just as much as I do. You conniving little... <laughs> ah, so it is you. And accept my challenge, or else I will stalk you for the rest of your life. That's gross. And super weird. But I'll do it. Happy now? Very. I prefer to challenge men of reason anyway. Well then, this is how our showdown will be. I shall throw a total of five pitches, hit even one, and you will be triumphant. But if you miss them all, or I hit you with a beanball, then victory is mine. Without further ado, let the duel commence. <sighs> On guard. That is a small window. I was defeated? All right, you down the batting center challenger. You're incredible. Well, what's done is done. There's no use denying it. Hey, you throw real good. I was actually impressed. Tell me, what's the reason behind this whole challenger thing? So I could become a better pitcher. Wanted to take on our nation's greatest batters and perfect my craft. But I never expected to be beaten by a random stranger in a backwater town such as this. It is clear that I require more training. As such, I shall be returning to the wilderness to train. Back to the basics, so to speak. Is that really necessary? 
As my parting gift, I shall leave you with this. It is for our most excellent duel. You have my thanks. Sturdy Katana! I shall be leaving now. Farewell. I guess level 8 looks to be the highest. God, I still have like this to do. Shinoda-san. Oh, thank goodness. Your Kuma's older sister, right? Yes, it's uh, uh, Akio. Listen, about my brother. He hasn't come home since that day. What? Said he was going to try again, so I thought he would have come to see you, but I guess not. No, I haven't seen him. But when I do, I'll make sure he gets his act together. To be honest, I don't care if he keeps on dreaming. I'm only afraid that he might have hurt himself from training too hard. Even if his dreams can't come true, as long as he's safe, that's enough for me. But I... Well, won't that only make things harder for you? Oh, I'm quite used to that by now. <laughs> Well, I'll just have to keep looking for him then. There you are. Kimakun. what's up with you, man? Your sister's worried about you. All that matters is our challenge, Shinada-san. I'm ready for you now. I went off into the wilderness to train, and I finally developed the pitching to take you down. This time, you're mine. Alright, but you have to promise me something. And what kind of promise would that be? You lose today. You give up your dream of turning pro. But if you can't make that promise, I won't accept your challenge. Is that what you want? Fine. I'm a man of my word, after all. There's no way I'm going to lose. So you look at that confidence right there. But you asked for it. I'll show you what it really means to be a pro. Let's do this. This is a nightmare. I trained over and over to perfect my pitching, and now... You promised. Today you're going to going right back to that screw factory and putting your elbow grease into where it's needed most. One more. Please, you have to give me another shot. I'm sure I could win next time. Said that last time. Just admit you lost and be done with it. Ugh. Look, why don't you want to be a- why do you want to be a pro so badly? It's the money, damn it. Can't you tell? Money? That's it? Ever since her father died, we were always dirt poor. Akio Chan practically raised me herself. Even she skipped, or she even skipped high school to do it. She sacrificed everything for me. I've been looking for a way to repay her ever since, to finally give her the good life she deserves. But the only thing I have going for me is baseball. It's the only way I can earn big money. That's why you're so bent on becoming a pro. Yeah. Well, I can empathize with how you feel about your sister. But in spite of your good intentions, you're only causing her grief. Are you aware of that? I am. But if I were to turn pro, that's not the point. Akio-san isn't sad because you're poor or because it's tough to keep the factory going. It's because you're not hearing what she really wants you to hear. You're... Same like ignoring my sister? Have you ever asked her what her definition of a good life is? I'll bet my... I'll bet you my left nut you haven't. That's a... No. The way I see it, uh, you want to be a, you want to be a pro baseball player, but you're using your sister to justify it. You say it's for your sister's happiness, that way you can ignore reality and avoid giving up on your dream. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life, but you should seriously discuss your future with your sister. Yeah, I should. I will. Cuba! Thank goodness I found you. Sis. Look, I'm not mad or anything, but please, 
Don't run off without telling me. If something happened to you, I don't know what I'd do. I'm sorry, Akio-chan. For everything. I couldn't beat shinata san after all. So you know what? I'm done with baseball. For good. Good man. Are... Are you sure you're okay with that? Yeah, you know what it was? I was afraid of admitting I didn't have the talent. Thought it'd be too painful. But I'm gonna stop running from here on out. I have to face up to reality. After all, I'm too old not to. Kuma. From now on, I'm listening carefully to everything you say. So, will you give me your excellent advice? Be glad to. Shinada-san, thank you. Decided to stop dreaming and start building. Future that's grounded on what I can do, not just some idea in my head. I'll make sure not to worry about her again. Good on you. Good luck. Thanks. And please take this for putting up with me. Don't think I need the utility knife. We'll be on our way now. Those two work together to make something truly great happen. Oh boy. Um, excuse me. Can we have a word with you? Yes? You do mean me, right? We do if you're the guy from Kotetsu-san's blog. We need an ace in the hole, and fast. Team is in dire straits, you see. We're wondering if you can- or if we could get your help. Wait, come again? Who are you guys anyway? Oh, we're from a local Sandlot team. <laughs> we always had uh, no problem playing at the public park, but about a year ago, some hooligans showed up and started kicking us out. I'm serious? Yeah. Uh, we make proper bookings through City Hall, but they just strut around punching and kicking until we give up the field. Dang, that sucks. Did you guys take it up with City Hall? We thought of that, but that will make up for all our pain and humiliation. So we decided to settle this ourselves. We challenged their gang to a game. We made them promise to never hijack the grounds from us if we beat them. It's an interesting solution. So when's that game going down? Thing is, it's on right now. Whoa, that was fast. Yeah, and we're losing by a run. Did I mention it's already the ninth inning? Oh dear. At this rate, they're going to pound us into the dirt. Please, could you go up to bat for us? No oh, thanks. You guys challenge them fair and square. If I just showed up out of nowhere, that wouldn't be right now, would it? That's true, but they brought in a hired gun too. He's a former pro. They did? Oh, okay, that's not... Uh, no, that's just dirty. That's what we th why we thought it would be okay for us to have a helper too. Well, certainly would, even the odds. All we're asking is a little help. Uh, even one at-bat will do. We'll even pay you for your trouble. Oh, alright. Just one at-bat then. Sweet deal. Let's get over there. Steve, right? That's two outs. One more out, and that's the difference. Or... Oh. That's the difference a former pro makes. You're smoking them, Asaka-san. Uh, what do you expect? It ain't shit shutting down uh, these weaklings. But damn, these clowns would have scored more runs. I wouldn't even need to try. Y'all are a bunch of amateurs. Uh, well, apologize for that. Make sure to pay you good, though. Now sweeten the deal with a little honey. There's this little babe who wants a piece of this. I'll slide her your way. Like how you seal a deal. Now let's get her done. Hold it right there. Uh, we have a pinch hitter. Huh? Who's this guy? Now then. Remind me of our situation. Bottom of the ninth, two outs, no runners. We're losing one to nothing. So home run ties the game. Got it. I'm asking who you are over there. Oh, just a batter who happened on by. Though I can't say I like the idea of a former pro waving his dick in the, around in a sandlot to play- or waving his dick around in sandlot play. <laughs> Sounds like a personal problem. Besides, what's wrong with getting paid and getting laid? That's about as good as it gets. Yeah, yeah. Get off the mound already. Think about us, it's their game. Get a load of this goody two-shoes. 
All right. If you get a hit off me, I'll see myself out. <laughs> Though that'll never happen. I'm gonna hold you to that. Hope you know. Now bring it. Oh, I'll show you just how to get out, or how out of your league you are. One at bat, one home run. Eat this, punk. Bye. That's crazy. How could this happen? Used to be a pro. Yes, yeah, yeah, same though. Well, not pro, but I guess minor league. Well, that's that. Uh, now let them finish the game, or are you the type to go back on their word? Fine. Well, we're tied, and their hired gun is leaving the game too. We have a chance at winning. Yup. The meddler has been dealt with. Now it's a fair fight, so it's up to you to take this thing home. That we will. Oh, but before you go, please accept this as thanks. Hunger belt. That sounds. Yeah, maybe. Uh... Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I like that. Uh, I feel like we're gonna win this for sure. All right, team. This is our moment. We're taking the diamond back once and for all. Sand lap ball's supposed to be a fun thing. Go for it, guys. Yeah, like, one pitch, just like, well, there that goes. I guess eight, eight, uh, level eight is not the maximum. Okay, so that doesn't scroll. Say, hey, buddy, you got a minute? Huh? Name's T uh, Takamine. Every now and again, I have a little challenge with the local batters. Go at a hobby of mine. So, want to square off? There's money in it for you if you hold up. Always down for money. You're a pitcher, I take it? Yep, so here's how it works. You get one at bat, and all you need to do is uh, hit a single pitch to win. Easy, right? You know, I'll pass. Baseball and betting don't mix, in my opinion. Hope you can find someone else. Oh, come on. Don't say that. Tatsuo Shinada. Where are you? <laughs> who is you? <laughs> who is your daddy and what does he do? Where are you and how do you know me? Oh, well. That'd be because I'm a hired gun sent by Shirakawa-san. Shirakawa put you up to this? What for? I'll tell you if you can beat me. Now whip out that wallet and let's get to it. How much are we asking? Uh, 50,000 yen should cut, should do it? Yo, that's a way too much. 50 grand for one at bat? Give me a break. Ah, uh, relax, relax. I already got my cut from Shirakawa-san, so you can play for free. Oh. Sheesh. Scared me there for a minute. Oh, what's it gonna be? Are you taking the challenge? What is it? Uh, win and it's 50 grand for you, plus a little... Plus a little vignette about Shirakawa-san. Uh, not a bad deal, I'd say. Alright then, challenge accepted. Of course it is. How could you refuse? Let's get this show started. Gotta warn you, no one's tagged me for a hit in ages. Hope you can handle the heat. You might just be surprised. Like that answer. Here it goes. Good answer! No hard feelings, but you're about to get smoked. I fouled that one. I was way early. That was also early on that, but apparently not too early.
Because I didn't have time to hit it twice, or hit the B button twice. What the? How in the haystack did you hit that? I know, right? Not a lot of pros could fire out breaking balls with that kind of impunity. What, an amateur wouldn't stand a chance against you. Thanks for noticing. I should congratulate you then. Yeah, I'm so honored. Praise from a cheater, uh, and a sloppy one at that. Oh, what are you accusing me of here? Save your blubbering buster. I know a doctored ball when I see one. You scuff that thing with sandpaper or something so it would spin weird. I'm amazed no one's seen through that old trick. Fudge knuckle. Oh boy, boy, all that harsh language that we got going again. I don't know if I can play this game here on Twitch with all this harsh language. All right, there's no hiding it, you win. Okay, you promised. Tell me about Shirakawa. Ask the guy yourself. Huh? How long have you been standing there? Long enough to see your game as the game sets hasn't gone to shit. So you were testing me, huh? Does that mean we've cleared our cleared up our misunderstanding? Not by a long shot. All you did was get a hit off some two bit con artist. Nothing's changed. Yeah, fucking potty mouth. Uh I thought you might say that. And hey, has Kurosaki kept in touch with you? Nope. Guy's been a lone wolf as long as I can remember. Yeah, it sounds about right. Forget about him. You're the one on trial here. We'll be back in full form for our showdown. And when I strike your ass out, well, let's just say uh, begging for forgiveness won't help you. You don't have to do this, Shirakawa. You only hurt your shoulder even worse. Yo, I saw my S rank. Uh, excuse me. Do you have a moment? Yes? Well, we often see you here, and boy, do you bash out hits with authority. Am I right in assuming you have experience in the sport? Well, you might say that. So what's it to you? Actually, we were hoping uh, you could evaluate my son's pitching to see if he has potential. All you have to do is give me one at bat. I'll be doing the pitching. You're not gonna use your son to gamble, are you? Like... That's all that's been I've been running into lately. Make a bet here, someone wants me dead there. It's ridiculous. Oh no, nothing of the sort. At least, technically speaking. There are actually many things at stake on our end, so in a way it is a gamble. Clarification, please. My son is in his last year of junior high. He hopes to go to the Koshian tournament in high school and eventually reach the major leagues. What school he makes it to into next year will largely determine the course of his future. You're not wrong. If you can get into a, a top team with a good shot at Kyoshin, or Koshien, uh, your chances of going pro get it a lot better. So, which high school are you hoping for? Seish, uh, Seisho High School. Oh, I pretty much expected to show it Koshien. Last I checked, everyone on the roster is there on some kind of fancy athletic scholarship. Yes, indeed. But you see... Uh, I got a call from a certain person regarding an invitational enrollment opportunity. Wow, that's impressive. How awesome for you. Yes. But I'm also worried how my son would fare among the nation's elite. To be honest, I'm unsure if it would be a beneficial experience. That's why we were hoping my son could pitch against a veritable slugger like you. Uh, we want to see if he can rank among the best. Well, what the heck, let's do it. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, Michio, off to the mound you go. Thanks for the opportunity. Okay, now it's time to win this. Just watch me, Dad. I'll prove to you I'm good enough to go. I have no doubt you are. But you give your best effort. Now stay calm and concentrate. But don't forget to unleash your fighting spirit when it counts. I can tell you're really invested in his future. So why not skip all this and send him straight to that school? Then he can go to Koshian without a hitch. Please put our situ uh, situation aside. I'd like you to concentrate on giving my son a good challenge. If you can hit a home run before he strikes you out, that will decide the duel and where he goes to school. If you say so. Hope I don't ruin your kid's education. Don't go easy on me just because I'm a student, sir. I don't expect any mercy. Spoken like a Koshian all-star. It'd be disrespectful if I didn't go all out. Good, because here it comes. 
Ooh, here it comes. Ooh. Also, by the way, when he takes that swing, there's I have no doubt he tags that pole. My whole life depends on this. Here it goes. God, I've got pressure now. Jesus Christ. I just ruined this kid's future. I can't believe it. So I'm not good enough after all. Don't be so hard on yourself, kid. I actually made it to Koshin, so... I get that, but then I already decided. We're turning Seisho down since you got a home run off me. So there it is. Really? Just like that. Appreciate you taking the time out to do this. Here, a thank you from both of us. Uh... Sure. Maybe it's not my place, but don't you think basing his career off a duel with a random stranger is a wee bit unfair? I mean, the kid's still in junior high, and he, he's got his whole life ahead of him. To me, it seems like a waste to deny such a rare invitation. I know, right? <laughs> that would be true if it were official. That means what, exactly? My son has always been an excellent pitcher, so much so that a certain individual caught wind of his talent and contacted me discreetly. According to what he said, Michio could get an invitational placement at Seisho High School in return for a large fee. So he made you a backdoor deal, in other words. Dad, what the heck? You never told me anything like that. You mean my invitation wasn't real? Sorry, I didn't tell you. But you see, I agonized over this decision. Of course I knew my son had real talent. And even though his invitation came to us through bribery, the man did say it was only offered to real prospects. As for the cost of entry, he wanted 5 million yen. Whoa, that much? Yeah, but Seisho does have a full complement of training facilities and coaches. It'd be, it's perfect for would-be pros like Michio. Putting together 5 million certainly won't be easy for me, but thought if it could help my son follow his dream. No, even then, couldn't reach a decision. That's why I thought of having you put him to the test. Is that what this is about? Were you really going to accept a bribe if I won? Even without- or without me even knowing? I don't want to put you through anything like that. Besides, I can play baseball anywhere. No matter where I go, I'll never stop following my dream. If I really do have talent, I can achieve my goals no matter what the circumstances. Right? I learned that from you, Dad. Son. Don't forget a word of what you just said, Michio-kun. In baseball, you of course need talent and effort, but you also need perseverance. It's not easy holding on to a dream, no matter what comes at you, but the people who do are the ones who earn success. Even a knucklehead like me can understand that. Guess wisdom comes with age. And it's decided. I'm turning down the offer. I'm ashamed I even considered it. Maybe it was me who believed in my son the, the least. Hey, what's all this about turning me down? Huh? Kurosaki? It's exactly like I said, Kurosaki-san. I've made up my mind. I do appreciate your generosity, but in the end, I don't think it's the it's right fo- I don't think it's right focus for us. I don't think it's the right focus. Hold on. You mean you made a deal with this shyster? Whoa, harsh language again. Yes, well, it was Kurosaki-san who approached me. That I did. In fact, I already made the arrangements to get your boy into that school. It's a little too late to be changing your mind. Deal's a deal. Just turn him down flat. This guy's only seen baseball as a way to swindle people out of their money. Even if that inv invitational slot becomes a ticket to Koshian. If Michio-kun were to turn pro, Kurosaki will be sure to shake him down for hush money. Shinada, you stay out of this. What would a loser like you know? It's okay, Shinada-san. You brought me back to my senses. I suppose we should be going now. 
You absolute dick. What another... Oh, that's another job you cost me. Want to take it up with the authorities? You got more to lose than me. Besides, I don't know if, if you're trying to be a broker or what, but you're trying. You're going to crash or burn if you keep this up. Fuck you. Don't you... Or you don't know jack shit about me. Okay, at least we've calmed down to the language. Uh, you're going to pay for what you've done. I'll see to it. Such anger. <laughs> Still late game. Why you have to be mad? Hold on, I need I need that sound effect right now. Just right now. Give it to me. Nope. Nope. Yes. There we go. Here it is. Only it's only game. Why you have to be mad? See? See, it's been stated. Could have warped him so badly. It's only a game. Wow. New machine. Oh no. gonna be fast pitch 145 kilometer an hour pitching machine hot damn let's see here max throwing velocity of 150 kilometers per hour hit five home runs out of 10 pitches to win a super deluxe prize what's the super deluxe prize because i have to find out i knew you should bite shinata what what are you doing back here can't you tell uh i can match through 150 kilometers an hour if you think you can hit that 145 should be easy right well yeah i guess Prove it to me, Shinada. Five home runs out of ten pitches. I'm sure you could pull that off. You're testing me again like you did with that cheater. Fine, I got nothing to hide. I'm not doing this for you, though. I'm doing this for the Super Deluxe Prize. I don't care about your motive. Uh, just get on with it. I'll be watching. Yep. The bat goes through that, uh, that pole. This is doable. I actually think I hit the wrong button there. Yeah, I almost, like, I think I make it way more challenging by actually moving the cursor. Right now. Like, I have to move it a little bit if they start going down a line. But, like, the, like, sweet spot is almost the entirety of the, uh, the hitting square. There, the strike zone. Jesus Christ. I guess it, it like, really is just the strike zone. See that, Shirakawa? You happy now? Yeah, yeah. Here's your super deluxe prize. Italian scar. Fuck yeah. What the heck am I supposed to do with this? It's entirely up to you. All I know is I fulfilled my end of the bargain. Can't have a contest without a prize, right? I mean, don't tell me you paid f for this yourself. Did you reserve that pitching machine, too? <laughs> sure did. Uh, now I know I can take you on directly without debating over whether I'm wasting my time. After all... Even if I do replicate Akimatsu's pitching, uh, it would be futile if your game's rusting away. Yeah, but can you really imitate Akimatsu's pitching with your bum shoulder? M machine was nothing compared to him. It won't be a repeat of our last duel. I almost stake my life on- or I could almost stake my life on it. You're really dead set on this, aren't you? Won't have you wait much longer. Soon I'll be ready for you. Be seeing you around, Shinada. 
What's he got up his sleeve? A cybernetic arm? Hope he doesn't pull some kind of crazy stunt. There's like, I think two more of these missions. Hey, Buckaroo, you got a minute? Um, can I help you? You can if you're Tatsuo Shinada, for the former Wyvern. That is you, right? Who's asking? I'm Asada, a reporter with Kine Sports. All right, so what, are you hitting me up for some kind of interview? Of sorts. You're familiar with Kurosaki-san, yes? Told me I could find you here. So he's the one who sent you. Sorry, but my schedule's full today. And tomorrow, and the next day, and forever. I want nothing to do with either of you. Oh, that's cold. Frosty, even. Thought you'd be happy to help another journalist, especially after putting out nothing but nightlife sleaze. Hey, man. Respect the craft. My interviews take long hours and hard work. Even if they do end on a happy note. Oh, no. I was only trying to break the ice. I'm the sleaziest guy I know. Maybe I should have started with my background. See, I was also with the Wyverns for a time. You were... Yeah, joined after you retired. Never made it off the farm, though. Couldn't even last two years before calling it quits. So you'd be my senpai as far as I'm concerned. You're not showing much respect to a senpai. Might I add that during my time with the Wyverns, I've heard a lot of nasty things about you. Your sign stealing cost us a lot of fans. Sure you heard a mouthful, or earful, whatever. You see, our paper's doing a feature on baseball's waning popularity. Figured I'd backtrack a bit and see where it started, and of course I can't do that without you. Your sign stealing is what brought match fixing under public scrutiny. That debacle drove a lot of fans from the game itself. Ah, oh, you really think that makes me want to talk to you? Huh, Kurosaki sure knows how to pick him. Let me put it as plainly as I can. You're not getting an interview, and I don't want to see your face ever again. Oh, come on. Uh, the statute of limitations has run out, hasn't it? Just admit you stole signs and get it over already. Now tell me, how much did you get for betraying the sport? Didn't you feel any remorse? The manager was in on it, wasn't he? That's the sort of juicy news our readers love. We'll pay good money for every tidbit you tell us, okay? And it's Here's the funny thing. We'll pay good money for every tidbit you tell us. That's what we want to hear. If you don't tell us what we want to hear, then... Eh... We won't pay you. Oh, so you're ignoring me now. Still hanging on to your tattered sense of pride? Alright, then. Why don't we settle this on the diamond? Say what? Come on. I was uh, once a pitcher and a wyvern. Uh, if you can get past me, I'll give up the, on that interview and rest assured you'll never see me again. It's a negative. Win or lose, I have nothing to say to the press. <laughs> and by me, you're not willing to give me the time of day anyhow. Besides, we're both former pros. I think I can learn a lot more from pitching against you than hearing you talk. I think you're that special, huh? All right, say I do win. Will you really get gone for good? Yippity do. Don't need to say it twice, do I? Here's the deal. When I throw 10 pitches, make five of those home runs, I'll be out of your life faster than you can sing take me out to the ball game. Only 10 pitches, you must be out of practice if that's all you could throw at me. I haven't retired for years, but for, the, for these 10 throws, I'll be as good uh, as I was back in my heyday. You can count on that. Five home runs. Write a sexy article about this one. Damn, he's got that's some quick throws. Also, I think he, yeah, he's also got a sidearm pitch. Actually, almost a submarine pitch. Like, I'm watching on the uh, the little delay of the stream and like yeah he's got a 
wicked, like, there we go. He's got a wicked submarine throw. Five for five. Who would have thunk it? Two former wyverns duking it out at a dinky little batting cage. Both of us having descended into lowly newsmongers, no less. These people care about my news. Now will you quit pestering me? Yeah, I suppose that was the deal. Fine, consider me a stranger. But first, I guess I owe you an interview fee. Money! What's this for? I gave you no such interview. Right. Give me something better. I can clearly see your batting hasn't rotted away. You still have what it takes to be in the pros. Even after all these years, you still kept practicing your swing, in spite of your permanent ban. That's some dedication. You practically or you practice in hopes of making a comeback someday. You wouldn't bother to do that unless you were truly innocent. And because you know that in your heart, you have the resolve to press on. You're convinced your innocence will be proven someday. Correct me if I'm wrong. What'd you say your name was? Asada? I see you have more talent with a pen than a ball. That's quite the compelling narrative. I guess I'll take that as a compliment. But it doesn't make me happy one bit. No, I'm sure it doesn't. Hence why I said it. Uh, you're a cruel man, Shinada. Hey, Asada-san, don't tell me you're taking his side now. What the hell's going on here? Why can't anyone keep a grudge against this jackass? Kurosaki, why are you still holding out on to yours? Sorry to disappoint, but I write for a small gossip paper. Our readers are hardly sophisticated enough to understand the tear-jerking redemption of a fallen hero. Still, you did provide me with a lead. Be happy to spot you for a coffee break, at least. What was that? Now, if you'll excuse me, Kurosaki-san. Hope you'll give me... He'll give my readers something they can actually chew on next time. Little shithead. Well, I'm out of here too. Sick of you creeping up on me. Oh, and Kurosaki? Wise up, man. You can't be pulling people's strings forever. It's gonna snap right back at you. Mind your own goddamn business. If you only knew. I think I've got two more of these main missions. Yeah, because I, th yeah, I think that bottom one is just an empty one. Uh, hi! Hey, Shinada. Huh? Oh, just Kurosaki again. What a surprise. What are you scheming on this time? Quit yapping and come with me. Yeah, no thanks. Why would I do that? We had enough problems already. <laughs> so you're a coward then. Don't worry, I ain't I won't lay a finger on you, I swear. Yeah? Then what are you planning? Come with me and find out for yourself. Alright, might as well see what he wants. At least for old time's sake. Brings back memories, don't it? Of course, I was always a backup in high school. Now we got to pitch a game. That's right. You were a pitcher, too. We could... The creepy music. When it came to raw power, I thought you outlasted even Shirakawa. And he was the best of the best. Outclassed. But high school ball is all about winning tournaments. No coach would rely on a pitcher who would melt down on walks. Didn't matter how hard I threw, the pitchers who got to play were guys like Shirakawa. Guys with good control. Yeah, I guess. In the summer of our senior year, when we finally made it to Koshien, our team got a lot of attention. You especially, since you batted cleanup. Had to watch you guys in the spotlight from the shadows right nearby. And it made all of the more pathetic being close to the light, or being so close to the light. I had to cheer for you guys at the field for, or in a game I wouldn't get to play. Up in the stands with everyone else in far away uh, Koshien. Did I go through all that training just so I could make you guys look good? I was always gnawing at my soul. After spending my teens in sweat and grime, I ended up with nothing. Didn't take long for me to hate baseball. Felt like I wasted my youth. What are you trying to say, Kurosaki? Are you blaming us for the way your life turned out?
Are you really going to pitch in dress shoes? Get in the batter's box, Shinata. My pitching against your batting. That's how we'll settle the score. What are you trying to prove? We're not so different, you and I. But whatever happened in the past, be damned. Not the only one to be ruined by baseball. You got tarred and feathered by the pros. You should loathe baseball as much as I do. Speak for yourself. Oh, right. You're the one in the spotlight's shadow now. You might be desperate to forget that, but I'll make you remember. Fine. I'll show you we're nothing alike. I, like, I now have to, like, really make sure I have my finger on the right bumper. Because I have a feeling I'm going to have to be dodging some pitches. Ten pitches, five hits. Mm. From the top of the big leagues to the bottom feeding titty mags. Yo, I mean, respect the craft. You said it earlier. You certainly fell from grace, Shinata. Got the chatter and pitch, Kurosaki. This is the last time I'm putting up with you. Uh-oh. He got hot hands. Oh wow, I really didn't think that was going to be a home run. I was really on, early on that last one. You still got it, Shinata. I lost, fair and square. You won't be seeing me again either. Skipping town. What? Why? To be honest, my broker business was screwed a long time ago. It's like everything else for me. It all turns to shit. Worse yet, I got too aggressive and ended up drawing attention from Simikuza, so I have to disappear before they do it for me. Well, you brought this all on yourself. Don't look at me for sympathy. I know that. I was planning to get out of the business anyway. You just moved the timing up a little, is all. Hey, Kurosaki, why did you cut and run already? Why bother coming to me for this? So I could finally be rid of baseball for good. I despised it all this time. Wanted to be done with it properly, that's all. Quit lying, man. Lying? You lost me there. Look, no one hates- or no one who hates baseball could ever pitch like that. Even after high school, you kept working on your throw, didn't you? Why would you lie to yourself just to hide the pain? It only gets worse that way. Maybe you have a point. Take this for your trouble. Cheating item. Look after Shirakawa, will you? He's just like me, stuck in the past, unable to move on with his life. Yeah, I know. Looks like our team was full of problem kids. Keep it up for old West Camaro. Shirakawa. Is that score to settle too? Yeah, like, all my shit's almost max level. If it's nine, now. Last one. The final duel. I want to make sure. Just, just making sure. Yeah, one more. Then we are done with his entire side stories. There he is. Took you long enough. You just keep popping out of nowhere, don't you? Sure do. Now, today we settle the score. Follow me. Can you really replicate Akamatsu's pitching, though? Have you consulted with your shoulder first? Stop with the shoulder talk and come with me, alright? We'll talk when we're there. Fine, have it your way. Like Burger King. I 
God damn, it's almost 10. Well, this dude, you had it out with Kura or Kurosaki here, didn't you? He actually told you? He asked me to look after you, you know. Uh, what could he possibly ask you to do? Atone for your 20-year-old crime? For robbing me of baseball so you could satisfy your pride? Won't well, listen to anything I say, will you? Not until I hit an Akimatsu pitch, though I doubt you could throw one in this state. Your shoulder's messed up, man. Blown. Torn. Injured. How many ways must I say it? It'd mean my left shoulder will never be the same. But I still have my right shoulder. You're gonna throw right? What are you thinking? There's no way you'll beat me with an overnight conversation. Conversion. Conversion. I can read. It's not an overnight conversion. I switched to throwing right after I saw you hit that homer on a stolen sign. What? Ever since that game, I've thought about it. I thought about when this day would come. I was determined to prove you betrayed me. But I gradually stopped training. Couldn't fully commit when I didn't know where or how I'd find you. When you beat me the first time, that lit a fire under my ass so I could replicate Akamatsu's pitch for one final duel. I see. The stage is finally set. Think back, Shinada. Remember exactly how it was. The regional tournament final, 20 years ago. Bottom of the ninth in a scoreless tie. Two outs, runners on second and third. On the mound is Akamatsu, the tournament's top pitcher. Get in the box, Shinada. He's gonna make me chase, or he's probably gonna try and make me chase for one, I bet. 10 pitches, 5 home runs. You can't hit these pitches. You're done for in my eyes. Unless you can prove me wrong. Then I'll do just that. Oh. He, he doesn't have just hot hands. Right to the third baseman. Oh boy. He's, he's giving me, like, the pitches, the best pitches. That was late. Uh, anything that was, it's like, in that A section, are gonna be the best pitches. Wow. Right to the third baseman again. Oh, that was perfect! Fuck! I just mistimed that one. Ah, yup. That one was actually kind of difficult. Just timing those. Yo, did you throw your arm out? Your other arm? Oh, what now, Shirakawa? You convinced yet? Well, are you? Yeah, there's no two ways about it. Not after that. You're batting seriously something else. But I think I knew that a long time ago. Just couldn't force myself to admit it. What do you mean? When you, my former teammate, were accused of sign stealing, I thought you were a fraud. A fake. A dirty cheat. A wannabe pro grasping for fame he didn't deserve. When I thought of you like that, it made me sense, or it made sense why you took that wild swing. You challenged Akamatsu just to earn more respect, and that selfishness robbed me of baseball. Those kinds of thoughts consumed me. My hatred of you kept growing, snowballing. But now I understand. You were the real thing, too. A true professional player. Not the kind of guy who put himself before the team. That homer you hit as a wyvern, you really didn't cheat, did you? 
Damn right I didn't. When it comes to baseball, I'm pure as a puppy. Not even a drop of guile in me. I suppose that's one way to put it. Come on, man. Have some faith in your old teammate. Faith. Now that's a word you don't hear much these days. But you know what? You're right. Guess I didn't trust my teammates back then. Not really. My left shoulder was shredded from overuse, but I never told anyone. Not the coach, and certainly not anyone from the team. I wasn't thinking about the future at all. The only thing that mattered was Koshian, and earning our right to be there. If I had stepped out of my shell and confided in someone, maybe my career would have gone differently. Actually, I knew about your shoulder, and that you were trying to hide it. What? Never told anyone, though. Because I knew how you felt, and uh, if I had an injury, I would have kept it a secret, too. We all felt the same way. Back then, getting to Koshian was everything. No one thought about what might happen next. Guess a battle like you would have noticed something was off with my throwing. I get it now. Finally understand why you challenged Akimatsu. Oh? If we went into extra innings with the score nodded, uh, you were afraid my damaged shoulder would give out. That's what made you take that swing. So I wouldn't have to pitch anymore. Knowing full well you'd take the blame if, if you blew it. Honest to goodness, that's a little too far back for me. Can't remember what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, don't need to thank you then. Boy, am I glad I stopped myself in time. Come on, what's with the attitude? Not like a thank you costs anything. Isn't it a bit late to drop the act? So, Shirakawa, what are you going to do now? Going back to Tokyo. Took all this time off, and the guys at the office probably are probably swamped with work. You know, feels like a huge weight's been lifted from my shoulders. For the first time, I can finally wake up in the morning with a renewed sense of purpose. Great to hear. You take care, okay? Yeah. Sorry for being such an asshole, Shinata. Yeah, if only that shit worked in real life. And did just, like, end with coming to blows. Oh, and one more thing. What? Thanks. For what? Everything. All of it. I really owe you one. Heh. <laughs> Try to stay in character, you. Mystery stone. Probably crafting. All right, so we've done all of the uh, the batting. Win the final showdown against Shirakawa and Shinada side story. So that means one thing. That means it is time to take this phone call. Actually, it's not a phone call, it's a text message. Uh, is that you a gift to camera? Oh, fuck! Let's find that out. Oh! Uh, at the bar, they were saying the pawn shop at Kinecho. Okay. Nope. Hold on. Hold on. We are not ready to go yet. <laughs> Want to see what these things are? Uh, M store. It's down there. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Excuse me. Dude, I've spent, like, how long of this stream? Oh, hi. How much of this stream has been spent on baseball? It's been, like, four hours of it, I think. Punch in the butt. It's been a lot. It's, it was a, a real push to get everything completed. This guy's gonna fight me. That guy's gonna fight me, yep. But, honestly, it was, I don't wanna say it was easy. Like, by no means was it easy. But 
I would say it does get easier when that uh, batting box gets massive. Like, timing is still completely on you. Like, it just makes the aiming easier. seems a stronger oh yeah uh, hey Kiryu's voice actor huh? hey. yeah it's we already had this conversation with uh Saijima Dragon tail. Dragon tail, dragon tail. Can I not? I'm betting I yeah, no, I can't. Uh time to go drop this shit off. God, like all of these episodes have also been like an hour and a half. Oh, it's a cursed ring. That's a scary thought. I want I want that you get to go away I just need to equip you put that away too Let's see what the uh, the dragon tail is, and hopefully it's not a bad dragon because uh, it's a very different thing. I was told I will send it again if you lose it. Please stop by any time. What the fuck does that mean? This tail was taken from a wicked dragon by means of a ruse. It is said to tear stone apart as if it were paper. The fuck does that mean? All right. We're just gonna put that away because I don't know what the fuck that's all about. Now we're gonna down here. Yeah, it's down here, and I know it's right across from where the uh, the taxi is. Look at there's a bunch of baseball upgrades, so I can only guess that there's going to be something like later in the game that's going to have to do with more baseball stuff. Because like this is, I don't know if this came out 
during the time that I was doing all the missions. It might be. Whatever. We'll, we'll do that. Probably is, and it's probably just it's probably just a waste of money. So whatever. I have a fuck ton of it. Still have over a hundred thousand yen. Alright, anyway. We'll save the game. And then now, for those who are watching on YouTube. Oh shit! There's a side mission there. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Blurry Phoenix. And game on.